Hey, this is Jake from Mito. I'm going to show you how you can generate graphs and visualizations inside Mito. And for every graph and visualization you make, you can generate the equivalent code just by making it. So you don't have to type any Python yourself. You can generate the code for your graphs just by creating it in the Mito environment. As a reminder, at a high level, Mito is a spreadsheet interface for Python. So every edit we make in this interface inside our Jupyter environment is going to generate the equivalent code in the code cell below. So we edit this, the interface here and generate code below. It's a really fast way to get your analysis done and generate the exact same code while you do it. To call Mito, all I'm going to do is import Mito, import Mito sheet and then call Mito sheet.sheet. To pass in data, I can either uh, pass in a data frame as an argument or by clicking the import modal here, I can upload a local file I have, so an Excel file or a CSV, for example. Just to, to install the Mito package, all we have to do is these two commands, python-m pip install mito installer, and then python-m mito installer install. Here we have some data about the movies and TV shows that are on Netflix. I'm going to show you how to make a really quick graph. So we have these ratings here. Let's say we want to graph these ratings to see the frequencies. I'll hit the graph button here. As our x-axis, we have rating set, and here we see it automatically creates um, a graph showing us the frequency. So we have TVMA has the most at 2836, and then the least we have UR here at only five. And if I hit this copy graph code here, this copies the code, and then I can post it either in the same cell if I want. We see this is the code that's being generated, or I can post it in a new cell. So you can see this is a really fast way to generate all this code for your graph that you would otherwise have to write out by hand. In Mito, it's just literally two clicks. In Mito, we can use graphs to really intuitively visualize our data. This is a pivot table I made here. All I have to do is click the graph button and I'm going to set my axes. So as the x-axis, I'm going to put the ratings here. And as my y-axis, I'm going to put the uh, counts for the movies. Then here we can see a nice visualization of our data. I can zoom in on specific parts of the data as well. If I want to get a closer look, and I can zoom back out with this toggle out here. Oops, let me pull this over. There we go. Uh, this is a bar chart, but we also have box plots, histograms, and scatter plots, which you can investigate as well. So, hope this is really useful. Thank you.